Hello, Master 6 you're back for part 14 of I Want to Get Culture 2. Last time I completed the level part of stage 5, so that was clearing out, uh, beating the last 14 screens from the 7 games, and we made it to the boss, so uh, yay, pretty happy with the how the end of stage 5 went. And uh, yeah, now we're going to be taking on the stage 5 boss. There is something I want to say up front, which sort of goes back to a comment that I made, probably just after beating the boss of stage 4, which was that I said I tend to flip-flop uh, in terms of which boss I uh, quote unquote prefer, or which one I think is more tricky, sort of, yeah. And that, mm, I could say, I could sort of, I wouldn't vehemently argue against whichever one you might say is the most difficult. I think I, I mean, we'll see how this pans out, but I'd like to say this up front. I think I may have just fallen into a trap of, think of just putting way too much stock on what happened during my test recording, the sort of thing where they wanted to do a let's play of this game. So first time I played the game, um, I mean, obviously, it's, it's you know, quote unquote blind at that point in time. I've got no idea what's coming, so they're going to take a long time. But oh my god, both boss 4 and boss 5 took ages, and bo but boss 5 still took considerably longer than boss 4. So I would have said boss 5 was much more difficult for the test, uh, sort of uh, go through to see whether, okay, to see whether or not I fancy doing this as Let's Play. I don't know whether I just had a mare on boss 4. Or whether I had an extremely fortunate run on Boss 5. Probably a little of both. Maybe more so the latter. But Boss 5 ended up taking less time than Boss 4 to complete. So, yeah. But one very lucky run on this boss on a test on a test playthrough. Probably shouldn't be, you know, shouldn't be swaying me so much. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how this pans out. But, um... Yeah, I guess that's all to say before we kick, kick on with it. So, uh, yay, here is Boss 5. And, uh, well, first off, we get this uh, face. You can see it shoots out. That's going to... Oh, no, I dodged it. Yay. We get this uh, red uh, fruit come out with a, with a giant fruit um, that says shoot. So, yeah, we're going to want to shoot the giant, uh, the giant cherry or bit of fruit or whatever. We then have... I'm doing a terrible job explaining this now while other stuff is going on. So maybe... What the hell? I was expecting the... I was expecting a, a cue in the music to actually uh, set me up um, for when that was gonna, for when that attack was gonna go away. But anyway, um, I'll maybe talk about the first phase when we get back to it because I'm well past that point. So uh, let's discuss this bit after you get through what I would dub. I say it's very difficult to sort of say exactly what constitutes a phase, maybe uh, in this boss. But for all intents and purposes, let's just call the call getting up to this point the first phase. So we're in sort of. Uh, I don't know, what, phase two, for want of a phrase? Uh, and, that, and that means we're in uh, this this section. Well, this section's going to go by by now as well, by the time I get a chance to speak. So um, maybe I should just shut up altogether, and we'll just uh, pick it up when we come back. Because <laughs> basically, my commentary is go on what is the first go. is just absolutely terrible. Don't worry, um, there's, there's no way, there's no way, he says, that he's going to be lucky or fortunate enough to compete this boss that quickly so uh, I'm obviously going to give this an earnest try um, if it turns out by some absolute miracle that I clear this then well I mean I'll take that but I will go back into the pot and we'll talk about it some more because for a first go believe you me this has gone beyond what my wildest dreams would have um, um, would have expected I'm getting some lag here which isn't helpful either but um yeah by this point in time it feels like it's completely pointless to actually talk about really anything the boss is doing, any moves whatsoever, I'm literally just gonna fire away here and we'll see where this attempt takes us because, um, yeah, wow. Um, <laughs> I have nothing else to say. Uh, and believe me, if we actually get to what is the final bit, uh, I'm actually going to go completely silent because I would really like to concentrate on the final bit uh, because that that's, uh, is very, very tricky. I am liable to mess up quite considerably and uh, yeah if I dodge this attack which um, is not a given not a gimme by any stretch of imagination but if I ding it oh my god for a first go through I'm going to restart there so we don't see that oh, I, I cannot believe it and that's what's going to be really frustrating here I that was that was the first go through where about a second or more so on that I'd have got to the very final bit I am not kidding it could probably take me half an hour longer to get back up to that point I'm not joking. This boss, as you, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll go through. But yeah, basically, if you think about what stuff I don't particularly don't like in, 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 in bosses and things like that, we've got swirling slash arcing projectiles. Check. 
Bouncing projectiles, check. Good dose of RNG, either in conjunction with said bouncing or arcing projectiles, or just on their own, check. So, yay. Anyway, let's talk it through again. So, yeah, the red eye and the blue eye here shoot out uh, various bits of fruit. The red one, you obviously want to shoot the... Uh, the big one, or if, it's, if it hits the ground, then it'll split apart and it'll die. The blue ones are just kind of fairly random. Um, and then here we go, one of the first arcing ones. So we get these greyish or light blue uh, cherries, which are kind of spawning from the left-hand side of the arc, so I would suggest getting to the right-hand wall. Uh, once you dodge that, you then get set into one of two phases. So we haven't actually, obviously, because I haven't got there yet, but um, we, we either get this thing uh, with, the, with the four little icons up there. That was absolutely awful. Um, or we get the one where where we have the uh, the um, I don't know what to call it. I don't want to say Miku because that's not quite right. But the uh, section with the platforms and the infinite jumping and the spikes and, so, and such like that. So uh, yeah, it's completely dependent on what happens here with the arrows, whether they go up or down. Um, if the arrows go up, as you can see, we'll get to, we'll get to this phase. If they go down, we'll get to the other phase. So anyway, this phase. Um, Sherry's come down from the ceiling, and basically in this first phase, whoops, yeah, this is not very good with the recording, unfortunately, getting a considerable amount of lag, which is, uh, or slowdown, which is admittedly kind of helpful, actually, for that. Um, I apologise, but there's not really much I can do about that. Um, but anyway, the, sec the second phase of this bit, sorry, I'm getting, I'm being a bit kind of mixed up now with phases of various bits of bosses and things like that which he spawns in the middle we get an infinite jump and we have two patterns here where we have spikes obviously that we're going to want to avoid uh, and fruit uh, that is kind of yeah again swirling and arcing around and uh, yeah it can be a hell of a thing to avoid all the uh, spikes and, and the fruit well not so much at the moment but I, I mean, there's not much I can do about it but I'm getting I detect a lot of slowdown on that which is helping somewhat um, yeah I guess that's the recording that's that's kind of um, going on in the background that's helping with that. Ugh. I don't want to feel like I'm cheating this boss somehow, but there's not much I can do about that. I mean, it's not ridiculous slowdown, I'd say, but I mean, I even pointed it out at the very beginning where I said here, I got a bit uh, flummoxed actually by uh, the music cue not being completely where I thought it was going to be at the end of that phase. It didn't get to the... it, it carried on for a little longer after that. Um, so I had to do some more dodging, which actually, which they took me by surprise. Uh, but anyway, this phase you actually don't have a, a double jump, but basically you just want to keep shooting her. Hopefully you can uh, kill her quicker or get through that first bit quick enough before the spikes really become much of a problem. I mean, some patterns there you can get through anyway, or you can get through them all. You can actually get through them all, but some are more difficult than others. It's a bit of the luck of the draw on that one, to be honest. Um, but uh, yeah, if, if you're quick enough and, and you take your opportunities to shoot her, then uh, yeah, you can get by without really needing to worry about the spikes. As I say, for the second one, we have the infinite jump, and you just want to um, try and find the gaps between the spikes and the fruit. I always have a bit of a thing with, it, with this um, phase, um, but it almost feels like it's completely consistent. Um, but only if the phase appears, if that one appears as the first of the two, rather than the second of the two. And what I mean by that is that we don't get the the one, the attack with the spike on, on the floor that we have to worry about. But anyway. Um, once we clear one of the one of the two, oh my god, we get this phase where there's a sort of a swamp esque thing banging from left to right, which makes the fruit fall. So you want to jump over the swamp type thing and obviously try and avoid the. You would start with that one, wouldn't you? Um, well, I'm not prepared for it, and yeah, I just uh, avoid the uh, fruit as it uh, comes as it falls to the floor when the, when the swamp hits the sides. But easier said than done. That pattern was absolutely awful, and I hate you. Ah. That pattern was bloody ridiculous. I probably ended up going in a, in, a, in a bad position there, although I dodged all the sodding fruit from above, but I just felt, but unfortunately, of course, the sodding move you chose to was the one with the fire wave that came along the bottom. I was just completely ill-prepared and not in a good position whatsoever to avoid the fire that was coming from the right-hand side. That had been any other attack other than that. I think I could have composed myself there and actually survived, but the manoeuvre and the weave, I felt like I had to pull off in order to, in order to dodge the... The, third, the, the blue ones or the purple ones coming down from the ceiling. Ugh, the fire wave I'm just not ready for. Uh, but anyway, this thing has four four phases, so it has... I don't know what it's called, red, green, blue and pink or purple or whatever, but we have one where we saw with the... Um, uh, with the... Uh, let's just talk about it now. So we got this one where basically we just have a whole bunch of small fruit um, coming down from the ceiling, and it's not quite... 
it's not that one's really not so bad to be honest um this one's not so bad in the move itself it's what happens at the end which is kind of a pain on this one uh, because usually it's nice to have that one last because you don't have to then deal with the massive fruit coming down from the ceiling when that when that phase is over so getting that phase what um, I'm, I'm hoping that was just a cosmetic thing or, or something because if those fruit had spawned up from the floor and killed me um, I would not uh, not be very happy uh, but I don't know where they came from why they were there that was nonsense I'm just glad they didn't hit me because that would have that would have that would have made me rage <laughs> Anyway, we'll have to I'll have to wait for the uh, let's talk about the other attacks on uh, on that on that phase because again we're past the point. Oh god, oh god, that was uh, that was I didn't get anywhere near enough hit scene quick enough there. Um, anyway, here we are on this one again, and like I said, this one now feels like for some reason again I don't know if it is, and that was absolutely awful. It was, that was just an absolute dreadful attempt where, but it somewhat feels like the that 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 attack is or that that move or that phase or whatever is slightly different depending on whether it's the first, say the first one or the second one. The second one always seems harder and, I, and this one I do genuinely flip flop on as to whether or not I actually, which one I want first or which one I want second. I kind of feel like, that was just pathetic, um, I kind of feel like actually I kind of want oh, the, the, that, the, the one that goes up so we've got the avoidance with the spikes and the infinite jumps swirling first because I say this thing because it does feel considerably harder for some reason even though it might be I don't know if it is absolutely identical if it is and I'm just and it's just because an ultimately a matter of okay I'm getting close to the end and I'm and I kind of kind of could panic I don't know but it genuinely feels like it's a bit trickier that second time around um but I don't necessarily feel like the other one it, again it might be slightly trickier but it doesn't feel as tricky or that much trickier than, than it was than it would be if it is the first phase again i'm completely rambling here i have actually don't know it's very difficult to tell i find whether or not um the, 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 the phase is different <laughs> or there is something different about when this when this happens first or second but again i might have even got into a mindset which is probably uh, bad enough <laughs> where to the where to the point where i think that this is harder second time around therefore i may i i yeah, get it in my head that it is, and therefore just make more silly movements, or take more risks, or think I have to kill her quicker, or whatever. And the, and even though, even if even if it was was more difficult, I'm assuming that the pattern is exactly the same, either first or second, uh, first time all the time, or second time all the time. But I can never seem to quite exactly replicate what I've previously done. So, uh, yeah, that phase is just a bit of a mystery to me. <laughs> oh, God. Ah! It also seems that this one seems to be very random in terms of the speed of the fruit, which direction they choose to fall and everything. So that phase can be... I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, definitely not, but that phase can easily catch you out. Like, not the water one, please. Good. So, yeah, anyway, this phase, we've got the fire. So you want to obviously jump over that as best you can. We have to in this one you have to avoid the red uh, projectiles or the, the spinning red fruit that come down, but not the little icons and coins that you can kind of see in this green one as well. If you touch one of those, I think it depends on which one you touch. Actually, I think you either get like a higher jump or or something, but it doesn't actually kill you. So, and we'll see that actually in the water phase as well. So, for example, here, if I actually touch some of these kind of coin ones that are coming from the ceiling. I don't die, which is really nice. What will happen is my is I'll get a spotlight on me, which obviously makes it more tricky. Oh, that was not good timing. Uh, but yeah, I get a spotlight on me, which makes it a little bit more tricky to see, but it's not like it completely blacks out the screen or anything like that. So it's not the worst thing in the world. So yeah, d yeah, obviously try and avoid the coins as best you can, but don't put a premium on it. Okay, I might actually shut up for this. Apologies, but this is awkward as hell. And I'd like to concentrate. And I'm doing a terrible job of hitting the bloody thing. I mean, the, the health bar at the top there is, 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 is kind of going down. So I was doing reasonable. I got it down about halfway into that final phase. But uh, yeah, I think, to be honest, unfortunately... Um, Maybe at some point in time I can actually talk about the moves on there, but when I get through that final phase, 
Um, I think I'm almost going to need to concentrate so much because that final phase, again, it doesn't necessarily look like much, but it is so easy to trip up. There's so much like RNG and stuff in this boss that I perhaps don't like, with, like swirling projectiles and arcy projectiles, but uh, yeah, you get to a certain get, get to that get to that point, and I'm like, oh my god, I so need to concentrate on this. I don't want to do the whole boss over again and everything like that. So yeah. Um, but anyway, or maybe now's a good point in time, because I feel like I don't necessarily, hopefully, need to concentrate quite so much on this. Um, but uh, yeah, the, that final um, phase, basically we have the spike going along the floor uh, uh, again, as we did in one, as we did in like the, the second of the two um, phases here. Um, and we need to hit the eyes, so uh, it has a variety of different attacks it can do. As you, I, mean, I think the main one we saw there was a blue one where it shot a, a lot of uh, big cherries at the floor. They then split apart and then sort of home in on me. Um, we also saw... Oh no! Phew. We also saw a, a green one, which is the move I absolutely hate, by the way. If there's one move I do not want to see on that final phase, I think it's that green one, um, where fruit sort of slowly descends and then splits apart. I am so bad at predicting where that where the fruit are going to split apart there. It's not even funny. I hate that attack. Um, it also does it does a red one where it just sort of sends out a stream of fruit at you. That one's reasonable to avoid, provided you're not cornered. Um, I feel like there's one more that I'm missing, but uh, I can't think of it at the moment. <laughs> um, oh my goodness me, that was terrible. Um, this phase, by the way, you can see I actually hit a coin there, but I actually... What? I'm not quite sure what happened there. Did I not? Did I not kill the that that part of the uh, kill off the red one? But it spawned it again rather than doing another move, so it just died anyway. Um, anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, clear, clearly here we're hitting. We're having to hit this spike. The most. Wow, the lag and the slowdown there is ridiculous. I don't want to say it's not helping because I feel like it is, and again, like, that feels somewhat cheap. In this fight, but I mean, there's, there's literally nothing I can do about it. But I mean, uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, probably the last time I have to apologise for that. But yeah, wow, this is making it feel like, in the for the most part, uh, a lot easier with that slight lag or slowdown. Um, but uh, yeah, the um, we're not going to get it now, are we? We're going to get the other one. Yeah, cool. That was close to hitting me there again. I thought I did. I got fell into a trap of thinking, oh, I'm waiting for a particular music. Uh, point in time of the music there, and it didn't come, and, and yeah, the, okay, wow. I don't know whether I should even like restart the recording or something, and try. I mean, it's, it feels like it's happening at, at, at very specific places all the time, though, so I'm not even sure. Well, yeah, I actually highly doubt that actually restarting and restarting the recording or the game here is going to make uh, much difference. Yeah, this is kind of uh, disappointing. Um, not to the point of view that I'm, you know, I'm, a ho I'm, I'm assuming it's going to make this boss go by a lot easier, uh, which is, which in itself is not disappointing, but I don't really want to be beating the boss with a lot of help from just this. I feel like that phase, for example, went by massively quicker, or without, with, with far fewer spikes and, and fruit to avoid there than there would, than would ordinarily be there. Yeah, this is not great, but mm, that's not nice. Okay, no dickish fruit on the final phase. Wow, thanks, lovely. Don't even know why I said anything. Why did I even say anything? I should have just kept my mouth shut. There, there might not have been anything, but no, I had to say, you know, no, no, don't screw me over on what will be the final bit of that phase. No, fruit right in the way, perfect speed, just above the bloody womp thing, going from side to side, and uh, yay, wonderful, absolutely fantastic. It's not a very nice pattern, but I say with the slow, with the slowdown and everything here, I feel like I'm well in advance of ever really getting to point getting to the point where the spikes are going to catch up to me there. So, yeah. but anyway, with or without the ah, <laughs> with or without the slowdown, um, I'd be disappointed if I was like dying on the on the, on the part where the platforms. So let's put it that way. But as you, can, as you can kind of see here, again, I'm not saying it's the slowdown that's throwing me off here, but. You've probably, every single time I've got to this phase, I can pretty much bet that, for example, I don't recall ever going need to go that high up in the left corner uh, before. I can pretty much bet that I've not done the same thing there once. <laughs> or twice, sorry, if I was to have to do it, obviously, for, for a, a second time. But yeah, I don't feel like I've done 
I don't feel like I've moved the same way there to avoid the projectiles once. I've done something different every single time. And as, as I say, oh my god, I should have just stayed on the floor, but I got a bit flustered by that one. I didn't quite know where, how fast it was moving, what height it was at, and that was just silly. But as I say, it was just, it was just irritating me enough and in the way enough to the point where I couldn't quite tell where the hell it was going to go. Ugh. Um, but yeah, back to, well, we're going to get it again. We seem to like to do this one, we'll be doing this one first most of the time. It feels like about three quarters of the time, if not more, you're doing this one, this one first, as opposed to the, uh, spike on the ground one. But yeah, I'm betting, for example, if I pull this off, I'm not going to do the same thing again here. But, yeah, it's happened, this move has happened first often enough now for me to feel like, again, this feels like, that feels like a complete departure from what I've done previously. Unless this is different. I, but I genuinely find it very, it, or impossible. Let's, let's go with impossible. I generally find that absolutely, actually impossible to tell whether or not these spikes, I think the spikes are, let's put it that way, but the fruit are in the exact same pattern. They feel like they are, but I can't do the same thing twice. It's like, you know, I'm, re I'm reacting to what's going on on screen rather than for something, if it is completely identical, I should have a completely set pattern that says, OK, at this point in time, I want to do this. At this point in time, I want to do this. That would kind of set me through and, and, get, and get me through that so much easier. But I just can't tell. OK, we're going to get screwed over there. Not the water one first. So, water one last would be fantastic because I don't have to deal with all the projectiles raining down from the sky. In fact, given that, actually, it doesn't. I wouldn't say it really actually makes much difference whether or not that this is awful. I found myself, yeah, I found, I'm finding myself sort of here, like under the bloody cherry where it's shooting out the red, the red, which, which would kill me, by the way. Um, and also, yeah, and the fire there. So that was just, yeah, I was just horribly positioned there about every single go there, which was absolutely awful. This is down to the final phase, by the way. So we did get, we did get the water. Uh, we did get the water one last, so if I don't do something stupid like, uh, yeah, ram into the spike again, we should be fine. I haven't really talked much about this one, this phase. This, honestly, I, I don't know. I'm, I, I don't want to say anything there because I didn't want to die to it, but it doesn't feel like I'm, I'm doing too badly on it, but... Um, oh, come on. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> No, too early. I'm screwed. Yep. I hate it. Oh, the final phase. I was trying not to say too much there, but I feel like I... Oh, <laughs> I really should just be silent for that. Because, um, yeah, I, it's... Yeah, it's... it's It doesn't feel like too much, but there's sufficient enough stuff going on. Some of the moves are just... That blue one really shouldn't be causing me too many problems, but it's the one you seem to be doing the most at the moment, and it is the one that obviously... Well, by, by the fact that you're you're doing it the most, is the one that's catching me out more often than not. This one first, again. Um, where was I going with that? Oh yeah, the bouncing, the bouncing one. So, uh, I'm going to just completely, completely jinx myself now, in the sense that that one feels, feels like, I don't want to say just complete pot luck, but I have so much difficulty, as you all know, with predicting where bouncing projectiles in particular that's again completely different from what i was doing previously on this phase I'm nowhere near those good have to pull off that kind of maneuver on those on the urge uh, of those fruit um but yeah no the bouncing ones i say don't want to say it feels like just complete pot luck but uh, yeah i'm so bad at predicting stuff like that that i almost just kind of pick a spot really frankly almost at the edge of it like here and just kind of, I don't want to say hope for the best, make small adjustments where it looks like something's coming my way, but a, a large part of that feels like, well, yeah, RNG, because it's just, it, 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 yeah, there's no rhyme or reason, there's no, yeah, there's no set pattern to that in terms of where those bounce, it's just going to be, are they going to, thank you with the last bit of fruit again! It's just, yeah, is it, are the bouncing, is the bouncing there going to screw me over or is it not? For the most part at the moment, it's been extraordinarily cooperative. Um, as I say, I don't want to just obviously just jinx myself with that, but yeah, it feels like it's been quite generous at the moment. I don't, I, yeah, I, and I will say again, the slight, maybe slight's a bit more, is, is not even the right word at this point in time, the, 
let's still let's still go with slight, but uh, yeah, the slight lag slash slowdown, I can't deny is helping uh, on that, because I can see where they're coming probably a little bit sooner than they would otherwise, but nah, still don't like that phase. Because uh, yeah, bouncing projectiles and the fact that they are in the, are in themselves RNG. Again, obviously, if it was a case of, a case of they're in the same positions every single time, then I'm set. Or what I would certainly do with that, with that, with that phase, is try and work out a pattern or work out a set of moves to say, okay, at this point in time I should be here. At this point in time I should be here, and uh, I would definitely try and stick to that. Although even though that's what I'm trying to do for this phase, that's never definitely really work. It's not really working out. But uh, yeah, for the bouncing ones, oh, that is definitely what I would try and do. I think yeah, yeah, okay, we're good. You did that one first again. I'm not complaining necessarily, but I swear to God, it is should or it should just be random or a fifty yeah, a random fifty fifty decision as to whether or not as to which one comes you know, which whether it's the that one or the. Uh, or the, the uh, yeah, the four icon spike one. I don't even know what to call the bloody face, it's so soft. My apologies. <laughs> but yeah, this one. But uh, yeah, I honestly I honestly do think I want the, that, the one I'm getting first, uh, rather than second, because, uh, as I say, I, I, it feels to me like it, it is very slightly different. Uh, but, uh, yeah, oh my god, I'm in a right pickle here. Oh my goodness me! Yeah, that one I'm going to have to do again because I did an absolutely terrible job and I hit more than one icon, which did blacken out the screen uh, to much more of an extent that was making it a bit more difficult to see, but thankfully not enough to, no, thankfully not enough to make it uh, ridiculous, which is uh, very nice. But uh, yeah, I got caught there in just a, what felt like an awful position. I could barely hit the spike at all, so uh, yeah, there was no surprise there that we were actually going to return, have to return to kill that one off. Right, can we have a nice pattern here? And if we get through, yeah, I'm gonna shut up. And you've done that one again, really? Such a terrible job of hitting the bloody eyes here. No! I hate that one so much! We did get to see another one, another sort of greenish one. I can't tell which one's green and which one's yellow, to be honest. Uh, whereby it just sort of... The, the big fruit goes down to a certain point and then sort of just sends out a whole bunch of smaller fruit in a sort of spread eagle pattern. That one, to be honest, feels like the feels like one of the nicest ones. That one and the red one. Um, the, yeah, the one where the one where the, 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 the small fruit descend and split apart. I hate that one. I just cannot predict to any any degree whatsoever where the other ones are going to split apart. If there's any rhyme or reason to that, I'd love to know. I mean, there probably is. I don't want to say it's like again not ridiculous, but. I think I'm going to have a high jump here now, or something. Might even have a, more of a high jump now, because I think that's the second icon I've touched. And the third one, oh my goodness me, I've got no idea what effect my character is under here, because I touched so many of the bloody coins, or or whatever they are, so that was uh, that was not good at all. Oh, the timing and everything on this, on this is just absolutely awful. I don't like that either. Hopefully you die pretty soon. Good, right, okay. And you actually went down first. That go. Uh, yep. Don't like the look of that fruit. <sighs> that was pretty bad as well. I'm hoping for a nice something not getting screwed over this one. Thank you. That was at least nice at the end there. But I think I earned it, or I think I deserved a little bit of luck on that one, because the one before that was absolutely horrible. And now watch me choke this. Not that I've not been dying to this, but... Again, is this the... Is, yeah, is this the same? 
it feels like, I don't know, there's more, possibly more fruit, like sooner or something, but oh, I don't know. I just can't tell. For me, it looks different. Do the, do the fruit move quicker? No idea. So, yeah, again, maybe my, maybe my description of choking on here is not really accurate. Maybe this is more difficult. Maybe this is harder than it is originally. Regardless, it's, it feels very annoying to die to it. Let me put it that way. Did one of them just bounce out of the arena altogether there? Okay. Awful, awful position. I hate this move so much. Bloody hell, why did I even try doing that? I think he must have one hit left or something and then the spike came back in. Oh my god. Oh, let's give this maybe to 40 minutes or so. I, I mean, this will be, I will beat the boss this video. So if I don't, whoops, if I don't pull it off in the next... 10 minutes or so, I mean, I've, I've probably more or less run out of things to say already, frankly, but other than just uh, whining and moaning now. Although well, that, that, that one, that one I can't really, I can't really fault anything. I mean, yeah, fine, you did the, you did the, you did the attack I didn't particularly like, but I dodged it. Um, it looked like you weren't perhaps doing, a, you weren't doing a particularly nasty last one. It was just, unfortunately, I found myself, I found myself just in the right-hand corner, which is not the best place to be. As you kind of see, because I, as you saw, well, perfect illustration that last go, because I got somewhat surprised, unfortunately, by the spike coming in. Left corner, if you're going to be sort of stuck in a corner, is better than the right, because you can see it coming. The spike comes from the right-hand side of the screen to the left, so if you find yourself uh, in the left-hand corner, then, uh, yeah, you've got time to react uh, to, to the spike. But if you are in the, find yourself in the right-hand corner, You've got to be fully appreciative of the fact that the spike is going to spawn in. So, yeah, you'll need to keep an eye on the left-hand side of the screen, see when the spike is going to disappear off the left-hand side of the screen, uh, and react accordingly. And unfortunately, I was I was just, I don't want to say, like, not doing my job by, by focusing on the crap that was going on with the fruit on the right-hand side of the screen. But of course, yeah, that was what was taking up my, more, you know, I was focusing much of my attention on. And uh, yeah, just wasn't paying attention, unfortunately, to the, uh, or not enough attention anyway, to, to, oh, don't do that, uh, to, the, to the spike spawning, uh, that was going to spawn in, so, uh, nah. this is good, I knew I was going to hit that, but I was like, again, well, I'll take that as a, I'll take that rather than, uh, rather than uh, running to the red thing, or, or ramming to the spike, I was like, yep, yeah, okay, fine, I think I'm going to hit the coin here, but I'll take that. This is not good. And I don't think that phase is over yet. So I'm going to have to go back and uh, finish it off. I think, anyway. Yeah. But as I say, it shouldn't take too, yeah, it shouldn't take too long to kill that one off. Um, I was confident I did a lot, quite a few, quite a, got quite a few hits in there, so. Done like that. Of course, the thing to keep your eye on here, wow, is the fruit. <laughs> uh, no, the thing to keep your eye on, uh, and what I've been saying for saying for quite a bit is that I've been kind of not the not the go I got the furthest because I actually felt like I did a good job on that one, but is is the position of the spike in terms of being able to because you can only you only can attack uh, you only do damage that boss. Uh, or that phase when you hit the eyes. So obviously, it's a, you know, it's a bit like the other, but not this one, but the other one where, the other one you can just continually spam away at the spike on the floor. I mean, the boss is, does have the you know, invincibility frames, a bit like this one, so it's not like I'm, not this first phase, but this one you notice, it's kind of got two bars. So you can see once I hit it, I don't actually do, I don't actually hit it again until the second bar has, uh, has uh, you know, uh, gone, has, has kind of, um, gone back to full or something or whatever then yeah i'm terribly clumsy job explaining it but well but yeah 
everything. <laughs> you can't just spam the boss uh, and, it'll, and, it, you know, and it'll have all your shots count. There is a there is an element of uh, you know invincibility frames to this, so you can't. Yeah, you, 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 it takes a bit of time. Uh, that's also true for the other phase as well, with the spikes on the floor where you're shooting the four things. It doesn't take like a, again a mass amount of shots. But you can't, yeah, you wouldn't, you, I'm obviously just continually shooting anyway, just from the point of view, like, it doesn't really matter, but I'm not dealing all that damage. I'm only dealing damage at the point where, yeah, again, the invincibility frames have gone away. And that's, yeah, so that, I guess the same applies to that final phase. Um, but I obviously want to be a bit more careful with that one in terms of, you know, sh only shooting at the spike when it's below the eyes, because it's, as I say, you know, that's the thing I need to aim for. If I don't hit the eyes, then I'm not dealing any damage. So, uh, yeah. So that's something I'm trying to be acutely aware of, only really shooting um, at, the, uh, at the spike on the floor when I am, or when, sorry, when it is below few. Oh God, I've hit two things here. I'm gonna be very careful with my jumps here now. Make sure I don't go yet yeah, like that too high or something. <laughs> okay, good. We're back to this one. Back to here again. But yeah, I don't want to just spam this final phase. I want to make I want to make sure I'm only shooting when the spike is below the eye. I mean, it's not like it's not like it's you've got a, a, a ridiculously narrow window of opportunity. You know, the, again, the eyes are fairly big. So this is awful. This is awful. I, I just put myself in a stupid position there. Absolutely dreadful. I think I'm probably going to cut it there, actually. I've got yeah, nothing much else to say. Um, yeah, this will go down this video, so I'll either get very close again, and you'll see my frustration on that, or we'll do this. But uh, yeah, I'll let, obviously let you know how long this takes as well. But uh, yeah, we're past the time it took me to beat Boss 4. I wouldn't say this is going absolutely dreadful at the moment. Again, I think the lag and the slowdown is helping considerably. Um, I've only been, you know, I've only been spending on the boss 35 minutes or so. Again, if I actually said, if you said to me I'd beat this boss in 35 minutes, I'd have snapped your hand off. But um, yeah, I'll uh, yeah, we'll definitely beat it, beat it this video, and I'll just let you know how long it took. Because I'm not kidding, this could take a, this could this could go down the next ten minutes. It could take another hour, two hours. I don't know. This final phase doesn't feel like much, but it can be sufficiently annoying to cause a lot of trouble. So uh, yeah, and again, you just don't feel like you want to choke on it. So and of course that makes you choke even more. So nah. yeah.
Yes! And once you defeat both eyes, we hit the jackpot. And the slowdown's gonna be even more ridiculous. Now, this slowdown, I'm gonna to head to one corner of the screen here. Just so, just in case it looks like that these that you might have to dodge something like this. <laughs> this slowdown is probably more so than you ordinarily get, but believe me, when this happens and you get this spread out, I don't know if it happens to everybody, but it certainly happens to me. This slowdown is what you get, is what I get anyway without the recorder running. So I think this is mm, slower. <laughs> Believe me, that there is some element of slowdown when you beat the boss, when that spread shot thing happens, but uh, yeah. Anyway, nosebleed, beat the fifth boss. Yay. That actually wasn't so bad. Let's save. Yeah, we look like we're back to normal speed. So we'll collect the key, and collect this key as well. Uh, I guess we'll go out of here, and uh, yeah, well, that is the stage five boss. I guess I, since the next thing I will do will be the uh, um, the uh, last three challenges, I will head to the um, challenge pod area, and that will be the end of this video. And uh, yeah, when I get there, is this way, isn't it? Yeah, good. So it's easy to get lost here on here with which floors you've been, to, uh, well, which which floor uh, various bits are bits that bits are on. But uh, yeah, here we are back at the yeah, here we are at the challenge pod. That will be the end of this video. And uh, yeah, that took an additional 20 minutes. Um, after I cut. So in total, I'm guessing, um, well yeah, total I reckon about 55 minutes then for that boss. That's not bad. I will take that, but again, I, again, for the last time, I will apologise for the, I'm, I'm going to say slight, because um, the music didn't feel like that first phase, like it was really, really, really behind where it should be, but there was clearly some lag or some slowdown on that, which I cannot deny made, made, Getting up to that final phase, I don't really feel it really, really affected the final phase really at all, um, with the spike on the floor hitting the eyes. But up to that point, the bouncy projectiles, oh my god, they get me so much more than that. Both in, both in, in the 35 minutes or so that I showed, just obviously with the commentary getting up to that point, and then even in the 20 minutes of footage um, that I took to complete that, very, very few deaths to those bouncing ones. They get me a lot, and I, yeah, and I think, by, oh, frankly, with, with almost everything, but maybe those bouncing, those two bouncing bits, obviously there's one after you beat the, uh, or, yeah, well, there's, there's, there's two, there's two types of that. Well, that attack happens twice, but, uh, yeah, I cannot, I cannot deny that the lag or the slowdown helped there. So, yeah, uh, apologies for that. Uh, for the final time, I should stop, probably, but, there's, there's, so there's nothing I can do about it. I've not experienced that before. Obviously, I've not recorded the game before. It did, that, that lag slowdown does not happen, other than the very final, the very final bits where you get the jackpot. But, but, yeah, but at that point in time, you're free and clear. You don't have to avoid any of the little things out of the little white specks that's, that come out or anything like that. It's no avoidance or anything happens there. So that's that's fine. Uh, but uh, yeah, the, I haven't had previously had that lag or slowdown. Obviously, it's got something to do with the recording, every recording being on. I say here, it looks like, again, it's back to how and how I completely would expect it to be, normal, full speed. So, yeah, there also just must be perhaps either a little too much going on or something or whatnot with that boss. So, uh, again, I don't feel like it made it still ridiculously easy or like I cheated it, but, yeah, it certainly made it, it certainly made it easier than it otherwise would have been. Um... And I guess based on that experience, well, it's very difficult to judge on that experience because, again, with the with the with that lag of slowdown, I can't really judge very well where that sat well, alongside the previous goes, where there was no lag or slowdown. Um, the boss took me, as I said, 55 minutes to beat. I think boss four took me 25 minutes to beat. So on, on this let's play, so obviously on that basis, boss five will be more difficult. But yeah, if you if you, if, if you'd offered me beating the boss within an hour. I, uh, yeah, I would have absolutely, that, yeah, that boss five in and out, I would have absolutely bitten your hand off. But it's very difficult to judge how I would have felt <laughs> to, uh, if, if that, or how long indeed that would have taken um, if it had been running at 100% speed as opposed to maybe 95% speed. Or, but yeah, I don't want to put a percentage on what, on, on how slow it was, but. It was a help. I can't possibly, I can't possibly deny that. But anyway, that's uh, yeah. The enchanted stage five done. We have three. Uh, we have, yeah. We have to say we have three keys. We have three challenges left, and that will be what I do next time. 
So, yay. Hope you join me for those uh, last three challenges. Hopefully, I say, I remember what two of them are. I can't remember what the third one is. But, uh, yeah, I don't... We've got all the avoidance ones out of the way. We've got Dapper Dan out of the way. So, not expecting these to go terribly bad. These should be... These should be absolutely fine. Unless the one I can't remember is a shocker. But I feel like if it was a shocker, I'd remember what it is. <laughs> so, yeah. Expecting, expecting uh, these last three challenges to be... Be pretty nice. Anyway, yeah, those will be next time, and I hope you'll join me for those. Until then, cheerio.